Is is there anything that you have seen from the baseball program that you've applied to the softball program, or is there something that you respect about the baseball program that you've noticed? Absolutely. Um, honestly, from the day that I set foot here at Edmonds to coach, um, they have a championship culture, and that's something that when you share the facility with them and you're around them, uh, you can't help but notice and you can't help but want to kind of emulate that championship culture. Uh, the way they do things on the field and their intentional uh, work ethic is fun to watch and it's something that we've tried to emulate as well. Um, but also who uh, the baseball players are off the field. It starts at the top with Scott, but uh, you'll never run into a baseball player who's rude to you on campus. Uh, they sit in the front of the class, they take their hats off when they walk in the classroom. Um, they pick up trash when they're walking around school. So it's something that you see not just on the field, but the championship culture that they have um, and just the, the intention that they have and the little things they do is something that has really like is very noticeable and it's something that uh, I know that our program really really wanted to emulate when when I got here and just like I said build off that championship culture you can't help but notice it so it's fun to see. Scott how about you in regards to the softball program? <clears throat> well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. yeah. um, their chemistry uh, holy cow uh, you watch them at practice they have so much fun uh, it starts with Cheryl, um, open, uh, very ex uh, excited to be out on the field all the time, and it just trickles down. They genuinely like to be around each other. Um, you don't tend to see that in college sports all the time. Um, and to watch the energy when they're in games, I think I saw a rain delay, and there was a dance party going off in the dugout, and you can just tell they genuinely just care about each other on that team. The coaching staff, the whole program, um, and it's exciting to watch, uh, you know, we've maintained a program that was successful um, before we got here um, To watch this coaching staff kind of Rejuvenate it and start over is something pretty impressive to watch and I've definitely learned a lot By watching how they go about their business and, and, and impress day in and day out Last question for both of you and this is maybe something that I've noticed and I think other people take notice if you come and watch Triton Sports here, especially this spring. Both of your programs compete with class. They win with class and they lose with class. And so my question, we'll start with you, Scott, is why do we see that when we watch Triton baseball or softball that we just we just know that these are classy programs by how you go about your business? Well, when I was hired, uh, the expectation was uh, to have a classy program, have a quality program. Um, and from the get-go, it was just something that was instilled in us to have Triton pride. Uh, you know, we, we take a lot of pride in the Triton T, um, the, what we get here, our administration. I don't want to embarrass our administration because they do such a great job for us. Um, they work hard for us. They show up to our games. And win, lose, or draw, I want it to be enjoyable um, either way. And I mean, echo the same thing. The the game day atmosphere here that's at Edmonds is unlike any other game day atmosphere anywhere anywhere else in the NWAC. Um, it's something that opposing players feel and see as well as the fans. Um, but in terms of competing with class, that was again that was the standard when I was hired too. Um, it's something that I've always believed in as well. And I think it also goes into the players that I think both programs recruit is that you do your best to, to find players who are not only good ball players but are good people and then continue to try and build that as they come through the program. And then it just kind of shows when you get to game day. So um, definitely something that starts at the top with administration and then works its way down for sure. Coach Gilmore and Coach Kelly, appreciate you taking some time to talk with us. Baseball is 22-5 and five right now, continues on in North Region play this weekend. Douglas at home Saturday and up to Canada against Douglas on Sunday. Softball 25-3 and three, and they head up across the border on Saturday to face Douglas as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.